Hi, this is Chuck out here at Midori Farm. It's a beautiful day and uh, we're harvesting kale right now. Um, this kale has been in the ground for about uh, six months. We planted it last fall and uh, it's still producing a lot for us. Kale is an excellent crop for farmers, easy to grow, uh, very hardy and sustainable in most climates and it's probably one of the healthiest things we can eat as well so we organic farmers we love growing and selling kale and eating it too. We're going to talk about harvesting it today. So if you come in a little closer, I'll show you uh, some details about the kale itself. There are lots and lots of different kinds of kale, hundreds of kinds of kale. This is called dwarf Siberian kale. And uh, it grows with nice big leaves that curl a bit like most kale does. And uh, the leaves are a bit segmented as well. And um, when you harvest kale, what you want to do is you want to take a nice sharp pair of scissors and uh, cut the leaves down quite near the, the base of the plant, like that. So you can see I made a nice clean cut here. And uh, then I've got my kale leaf like this. Now, we could take the whole kale plant out if we wanted to. We could cut all the leaves and then that would be done with it and then just get rid of the kale. But what I like to do is just take one or two leaves per plant and what that leaves me is a nice flush of kale all year long. And uh, like I said, this kale's already been in the ground six months. It overwintered just fine. And later on, we're gonna look at the red Russian kale that's been in here since last summer. So that's a really old kale, but it's still producing beautiful, delicious kale. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have our basket of dwarf Siberian kale. And the important thing to remember with any leafy green, like kale or lettuce or spinach or whatever, is if you're on a hot sunny day like this, even in, May, even in March, it's hot enough, the kale will start to dry out really quickly. And that, it'll lose freshness. And what you wanna do is just keep it wet. So just put some water on it, like that. Make sure it's nice and damp, and then you're gonna put it in a dark place, you know, something with shade or something like that. You can even just cover it up with something else. So we're gonna do that in a minute, but first, I'm gonna talk about this kale. We have two different kinds of kale here that are different from the dwarf Siberian that we've already harvested. This is moss curly kale, and this is red Russian kale. And you can come in closer and see how different it is. This is one of the leaves of the dwarf Siberian. You can see they're similar, but this is a lot more curly. And this one, well, it's a lot more red and it's got pointier uh, leaf ends rather than the rounded ones. But these are also great kales. Uh, we really encourage people to grow and eat more kale because it's a real sustainable crop and it's really healthy for humans. So we're going to harvest this in the same way we did the dwarf Siberian, cutting one leaf per plant, leaving enough on the plant so that it can keep thriving and continue producing all year long. So let's get started. Okay, we're done harvesting and now we got to take care of the vegetables that we've harvested so that they're nice and fresh for the customers when we go back to Kyoto. So here we have our different baskets of vegetables. This is full of uh, red mizuna and pak choy. We're going to put a nice tight fitting lid on there and then we're going to sink it down into the river and put a big stone on top. That's going to hold it down so that the, the river water will run through it, kind of clean it and keep it nice and cool and wet. And it'll stay like this for a couple hours until we're ready to go home and keep it nice and fresh for our customers. So we're going to do that with all five baskets and then we're going to have lunch. So, see you again. <laughs> 